Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we're back in black, baby. Even more so, the Black King Talks role has graced us with his presence once again. Are you interested in what Mono Black Control has in, in store for you today? Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host. Despite what my psychiatrist says, I am not insane in the membrane. Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before the live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation called Vengeance V3. V3. Why V3? Because I've already had a Vengeance and a Vengeance V2. So this is the third iteration of that deck. This time we're, we've plugged in some Wilds of Eldraine and uh, taken some other stuff out. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. It's mono black. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to take a look at the cards super quick. We're going to talk a little bit about what this deck should do. And then we're going to go out and crush some hopes and dreams. All right, so what do we got? We got uh, Creature Kill, a little vampirism and a menacey rat. We got a guy who is completely underused. It should be in every deck. Um, protection for multicolored gives you life whenever your opponent puts out a non-basic land. So therefore, it can... Defend against multicolors all day. Uh, creature kill. Planeswalker kill. Uh, more creature kill. and enchantment kill. This one blows away any creatures. Negative one, negative one. And extra damage against green and white. Uh, extra card draw. Exiling creatures of Planeswalker. Or returning creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Shoulder punishes people for drawing cards. Or benefits you for drawing cards. This lets you essentially go get Shouldred and put it into play. Junji comes out with Flying Minus 5-5 Dragon. When it dies, you can force your opponent to discard, or you could go get a creature, a non-dragon creature, from any graveyard and put it into the battlefield under your control. Uh, we'll talk about talks for the last. Virtue of Persistence does negative 3, negative 3 to a target creature where you gain three, 2 life. At which point you can put it out for 7, which uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, target creature... Creature from a graveyard, that means any graveyard, comes into the battlefield under your control. So nice. Start playing your opponent's deck, pretty much. And lastly, the Black King Toxroll, who dwells in the dark chambers of my heart. Uh, he is a 7-7. Seven, seven, and at the beginning of each end step, you put a slime creature on each a slime counter on each creature you don't control. And then those creatures get negative one, negative one for each slime counter on them. So they just get weaker. Weaker and weaker. And whenever a creature you don't control that has a slime counter on it dies, you get to create a, a slug baby. We don't have any blue, so we're not sacrificing anything. Anyways, Tox Rule's fantastic. Uh, we got the ability to put out mites. We got the ability to bring things back from the graveyard. And 19 swamps. All right, so what do we do? We're killing stuff. We are controlling the board. We're going to try to get ourselves as much a little bit of life as we can until at the end we're going to go ahead and pull things back from the graveyard potentially just keep and shoulder it out punish them for any card draw they got going on death touching as much as we possibly can and lastly tox roll hitting the board making all their stuff incredibly weak and converting their dead into our own slug babies all right so before we go out there to do our damage let's say our prayers and talk about what's best in life Dear Black King Toxworld, who dwells within the dark chambers of our hearts, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. I've been against Tortura. Beep. I 
I wonder if we're playing against our friend Mono Red. I can see it. That guy looks like he wants to play with Rakdos, is what it looks like to me. Death! Alright, let's start speeding through our library. Topiary Stomper, really chew, chew, chew. All right, four. Let's let's get the shoulder out. You can start to lay out some awesome stuff now. That's a problem. All right, one, two, three. Exile my friend here. Shoulder Edict, just gonna take out the other. And for four. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another. Yeah, we can do both of these things. That's always nice. And let's go teach him what love's all about. You're going to block? Yeah, you'll do it. All right, he's got seven. I expect to see some Titans of Industry or something. Tally, even worse. Ooh, well, that's it for poor Gingy. We could bring back some stuff. Apparently, it's shouldered. What's he got up there? I got my own shouldered, so. Horn Clex? Oh, I don't have any force cards. All right. That's not going to help me out terribly much. All right, he's down to six, down to four. I'd like to get the Black King out, Tox roll, but uh, he's just he's asking for one more mana that I can provide. All right, come on, Tortuga. Tortuga. Don't make me touch your fish in an icky way. I'm sorry, Cubert. I love you, baby. Here's some Energons for you. He's panicking. He's pee pantsing a little bit. I mean, he definitely gets whatever that is. You got your sevens there, babes. All right, down to 16. Ooh, Toxel. I'm sorry, Toxel, but we're so close to the end. We got to get shouldered out instead. Let's chew that guy up. 
And no attacks. It would be your good defense. Two more. Down to one. You want to draw another card? You could do it. I'll just let you do it if you want to for free. Go ahead. It's going to happen. You can't do anything about it. Shoulder's already on the stack. She's dancing around. Ooh, look at me. I'm Shouldred. You're going to lose two life. On your own, on your next turn, you're, you're going to... There you go. You just died. Good game. Victory! Alright, we're playing against Foxy. Ot, one Ot. Zero, one, zero. Two mana. There's only three of these in the deck, yet they show up like crazy. We need another black, though. Yeah, we have to kill that guy first before we can kill anything else. But that's actually pretty decent. He plays low end Boros, that would be a nice little kill. I want to know what love is. And I want you to show me. Scrove, you're gonna die. goes double striking it all up like he owns the place not the kind of man oh it is a good kind of mana we need well that'll work out well chew you to protect it you did good for you I think we're dead. I mean, I can jump in front a tiny bit. That's what, at least 14, right? So that's going to bring it down to 12. Looks like double strike is the new, uh, the new bee's knees. All right, we're playing against Artix. Keep. Ooh, look at those humble pumpkins over there. Very festive. I'm sure there's nothing else associated over there. Say hello to my rat. <laughs> Alright, nothing to do. Squeeze out the pumpkin head. Huh. One thing I don't like about that thing is it gives you three options. And uh, I sometimes pick the wrong one. Alright. Nothing's got haste, so we're all sitting around. Thumbs up our butts. All in. All right, so this is a seven. We got four. We got five. We can get out a nice Junji on the next turn. No blocking the rat. What are you going to do about a more?
I think I'll almost just go after his hand. Because you kill it apart. Yep. He's got guys. I could take them. So I don't have anybody worth having. Who's pumping this jam? He's only got one card up there. Oh, that's sick as guys. And we got another. All right, that's cool. Okay, so he's only got two cards. I don't care. I'll block still. Here we go again. Is anybody worth stealing up here? Ah. Uh, here, I'll take another guy. You guys are just incredibly wuss. Incredible wusses. There's nobody to even steal at this point. I mean, I can steal this guy. Those guys are pumped. I should, I should have made this guy Hulk out before. Wants to save it. He loves it too much. Down to two. I mean, if he had the ability to win it right now, he would have already gone in for the attack. And we win! And your face, Rock Lobster. All right, we are playing against Jim Bob. Kill, kill. All right, let's keep it. Nope. Ah, ha, ha. No crystal for you. All right, we're going to touch all you guys in icky ways. Keep putting them out, please. Keep it less, five or less. Combine power and toughness. I had time on that guy. I could have waited. I'm just feeling kind of vengeful at the moment. All right, four. Let's get on the shoulder where I can. I know that blue loves to draw cards. I don't have to worry about like white with it being restricted on killing based on attacking or blocking. So shoulders just going to come in for the pound. There's that crystals right in front of your face. No, you look at it. Look at it right now. Don't ignore it like it's not sitting there like you want it so bad, but you can't have it. Yeah, man, that's it. Suck it right there. Crystal bear.
Uh, that guy's outside of my reach at this moment. The other guy's not, though. Let's take the time to kill. Eat it. All right, he's down to eight. He's going to be down to six in just a second. You want to draw a card? Is that what you want to do? Is this with greater than two? Equal to the chosen number. He's afraid of me casting something at two. It's just less than what he's got going on there. That's two. You drew a card. That means you're dead on the next turn. Game's over, man. Game's over, man. There we go. Victory! Alright, playing against Cooper Flood. Two great words that go great together, apparently. Keep. This deck likes to come up with two mana right off the bat. Then it makes me struggle for a third. I don't appreciate that. Hello, are you home? There she is. Three, four, four, five. All right, I wish I would have had this guy out last turn. That would have been cool. I could have gotten one, one life out of the deal. And look, he's got protection from multicolored. This guy is so fantastic. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Give me a, give me a land. Not a land. Well, I'll use it to choose up, chew up Ruby there. You don't have any mana. Another life. Well, we're doing okay with two, but that's pretty much the extent of our anger, our pitiful, pitiful anger. This guy could be blocking that guy like crazy. I just got to not attack. Come on, mana. There we go. Let's speed some stuff up. And not attack. No attacks. We're good with just defending. Your guy is what we call multicolored. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure he's got trample. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of pitiful, wasn't it? Uh. You know what that guy is? Multicolored. All right, let's see how Shoulder does for you. I mean, you got two guys now. I mean, that's good. I can only block one. I can get the other guy out to help block the other guy in just a second, though. I tell you, we'll go for Junji on the next turn. 
mean, I guess I could go the other one and Spectrum Sentinel. That's kind of nice. Go get uh, another Shouldred from with that. All right, let's go get. Oof, God, I almost feel like going for somebody else, our dear, dear friend. Ox rolls is who I'm talking about. Because we have four, five, six, seven. I could put ox roll. Oh. What are we even playing against here? All right, we were here to play. Oh, I printed the wrong card. Jeez. Okay, all that trepidation for nothing. I got two guys with protection from multicolored, and then two guys with multicolor. That's a, a sorcery too. All right, come on, Cooper Flood. Kill, keep me from killing myself, so thank you. More life. Well, these Spectrum Sentinels are earning their keep today. I can, I can do it again. I'll tell you what, we're just going to put out Junji. No attacks. One thing is, can I beseech the mirror? Kill Junji? Go get Shouldred and bring out Toxrul into my hand, probably. No, I could I could get Toxrul out straight. No, I can't. This has to be mana four of less. Toxrul's not in the graveyard, just just Shouldred. Shoulder would be so cool, especially with those stupid one ones out there now. We got things in the graveyard that are cool having. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, that sucked. All right. Boy, I am not playing this one right at all. I thought I could sacrifice a creature. What did that even say? It said sacrifice. What does bargain say? Whatever, man. Have a good time. Uh, artifact enchantment or token. Okay. He's pumping. He's pumping it up.
Pick somebody that you want to kill. Nope, don't care. Wrong way. I see it right there. All right, he's touching things. He's going for the pump. All right, cool. Here we go. Let's go get a friend. Nah, any of those guys, they suck. Shouldered. Draw a card, gain two life, put out our friend Tox roll. Yeah, the Spectrum Sentinel, it's like attacking with him at this point, it's just not worth it, is it? No attacks. Weaker. Feel it. Feel Toxrill's love. I'll start stealing your creatures after the next turn. The question is, yeah, should I throw Toxrill in front of somebody? I think the answer is no. Thing is, I only got 11 life. That's not enough to be gambling with. All right, get weaker. Come on. I'm start getting some slug babies here soon. Miglos has to die, apparently. That means I got a slug baby. All right, so I'm a little on the low side. I could kill somebody, but man, taking somebody after Nick's turn sounds really fun. Let's be a little bit more conservative, though. Slug baby. It'll help. As long as your shoulder stays in play, that's totally cool. Alright. There we go. Suck it, copper, fl copper fluid. Copper fluid. You can suck it. Alright, so here we are with Vengeance V3. Version 3. And, uh, yeah, I, I totally had a lot of fun with this deck. This one was good. Um, it wasn't quite as, like, super creature kill as I always hoped they are going to be. Uh, I always think, oh, I can afford to put in a little bit of this or a little bit of this other thing. And then I end up just pulling those all the time, and I'm not killing creatures as much as I had hoped. Still, um, it was enough, and this deck did fantastically. Uh, let's see, what is my win rate here total? At 67%. I, I don't quite understand. I guess I didn't play it enough because I only lost two games, but I won four. So I guess that is 67%. It just felt like I was kicking names or kicking ass and taking names all the time. That's what it felt like. The times I lost wasn't that big of a deal. It was good games regardless. Um, All right. So 
Let's see, who was the MVP, the most valuable player here? Looking at the list. You know, okay, I gotta talk nicely. Spectrum Sentinel. You always you look at it, and you're like, what is Spectrum Sentinel doing in this deck? Spectrum Sentinel could go in any deck. There is nothing colored about him. But he you saw, you saw how good he was. This guy gained so much life for me because people are playing non-basic lands like crazy. Plus, if you're playing against anything that has a bunch of multicolored creatures in it, he is such an incredible defender. So good. So Spectrum Central is an incredible card. Not the MVP, but he's got to be mentioned. Honorable mention there. Um, it's going to be like Shouldred, really. Shouldred is the MVP. It, she's four. She comes out. She turns the table of the deck. Your, your opponent starts losing life. You start gaining life. It is so hard to keep up with that. It just made it, she's a tempo card, and it's just so hard when the tempo turns in your in your favor there. Um, Phyrexian Arena is another great MVP kind of card for this deck. It's just that it hurts. It hurts. Not, but the thing that makes it better, Shouldred. So that's why Shouldred really is the best card in this deck for this deck, is because Shouldred makes Phyrexian Arena that much better. Because uh, for every card you draw, then you you might lose one, but you gain another. And so it's like you're, the deal is, is it was shouldered out. You, you, every turn you draw two cards and then you gain three life, which is insane an insane tempo mechanic right there. Uh, Virtue persistence, really good. Tox roll, sweet tox roll. I haven't played tox roll enough, but it was so good having tox roll back in this deck. I think one, it was a great number for this. And uh, we were able to climb high enough and pull Toxel from the graveyard if you wanted to. Lots of great abilities to do what we need to do. But Shouldred was definitely the MVP. Congratulations, Shouldred. You're going to Disneyland. All right. So was this a competitive deck? 67% says that, yeah, this is a competitive deck. It's definitely at the Platinum Mythic levels. Um, I think one of the times I lost was just to just aggro. Aggro, right? Because this deck took a little while to get started. Um, we had the ability to take out the single creature they had that had double strike and a bunch of pump. But then they protected it. They gave it a hexproof, which was more than what I could handle. So this deck had what it had, but he had everything he needed to be able to take me out by turn three. I, you, know, you, just, you can't get much better than that. So I think this deck uh, deserves to say that it did as good as it possibly could. And someone just had a perfect hand. And that, that's all there was to that. So aggro is who you got to watch out for. But other than that, the control is pretty sweet. Pretty good altogether. Uh, so yeah, I think this is definitely a competitive deck. Is this deck fun? Is this a good deck to play? Yeah, I mean, if you enjoy playing black, this is more of a... I want to call it a, a control deck, a black control, because everything you got going on... Um, it might be considered mid-range. I know I was doing the description or the reading what mid-range is about. It says mid-range usually sponsors a lot of control in the early game. This is definitely a lot of early game control. We definitely grow our way up to the end. That's where our creatures are at. That's where we got Junji and Toxroll and Shouldred. Um, so this might be more of a mid-range deck. I'm definitely going to probably put it down as a mid-range control deck. But uh, yeah, yeah, if you like that kind of that kind of thing this is an excellent deck excellent i you know being an aggro type guy i kind of miss the early stuff but uh spectrum sentinel and okiba reconerator definitely give you a little bit of skin in the game to let you play so good for you my friends all right was this deck interesting yeah totally well so i built this one up i went back to vengeance v2 made some changes threw in some wilds of eldraine card that i thought would have really ramped it up um yeah, is there still some room? I put Glistening Delusion here. I didn't get a chance to play it. I was really thinking I was going to go against Selesnya at some point. Seems like every night I play like at least against three Selesnyas, right? Three of the uh, uh, Selesnya enchantments. God, I hate those. And Glistening Delusion would just rip that stuff apart. I was really looking forward to it. It didn't really happen. But I don't. I do think it did win me the game one time. Uh, we'll have to go back and review the game footage to see what it is. So anyways, we have some new cards in here. It was a new way of playing with the Vengeance deck. Or let me say that right. The Vengeance deck. Altogether, it was fantastic. 
So let's rate this thing up. Was it competitive? Yes. Was it fun? Totally. Was it interesting? I think so. All right. So even though this is a deck made by myself, I'm going to have to say this deck is an A plus deck. All right. That's it. So as federal, federal law requires me to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up should you have the means. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, screw you guys, I'm going home. Bye.